This is an overview of seven scientific papers that through direct and indirect testing show the superior performance and benefits of using the pull-through cleaning brush. Details of the sources for these findings and observations are listed in the description below. A critical point to understand in cleaning endoscopes is that you cannot high-level disinfect or sterilise a dirty instrument. It is vital to have a robust, evidence-based process at the bedside and at the sink to ensure that the endoscope is clean prior to high-level disinfection and drying. Best infection prevention practice is essential to ensure compliance and patient safety. The aim of the Aseptium October 2021 study was to compare and evaluate the cleaning efficacy of the pull-through cleaning brush against alternative brushes. The testing was conducted using two methods. The first was the Veritest Blue Protein Detection System, which uses a natural non-synthetic protein test soil and a protein-sensitive reagent to indicate the presence of any residual contamination. The second method was using the ProReveal fluorescence protein detection, which employs a reagent and ultraviolet fluorescence to reveal levels of contamination. Both methods produced highly accurate quantifiable results. These tests indicated that the pull-through cleaning brush was the most effective of the three brushes in the test at removing contamination from the internal channels of endoscopes. The pull-through cleaning brush demonstrated a 93% greater efficacy than the single-headed brush and 79% greater than the double-headed brush. The purpose of the rescope tests done in 2021 was to investigate whether the pull-through cleaning brush damages the instrument channel during manual brushing, and if there is existing damage, such as a kink in the channel, what impact does this have on the cleaning performance of the pull-through cleaning brush? The conclusions were firstly, no damage was observed in the biopsy channel when using the pull-through cleaning brush, and second, the pull-through cleaning brush is more effective than a regular bristle brush in cleaning around a kink in the channel. The Birmingham University Hospital study of 2012 compared the performance of the pull-through cleaning brush after one pass through a pre-contaminated channel with a bristle brush after five passes. Visual inspection to detect soil revealed none after a single pass of the pull-through cleaning brush. Visual inspection after five passes of the bristle brush showed soil was still visible. Performance was also assessed using a ninhydrin test to measure detectable protein. The results indicate that a single pass of the pull-through product is as effective as five passes of the bristle brush, even after the contaminated channel was left to dry for 30 minutes. The Deventa study in 2011 compared protein removal in the channels of a range of colonoscopes. The test compared brushing with a reusable bristle brush, a single-use bristle brush, and a pull-through cleaning brush. Each brush was passed down the channel of the colonoscope once, when the scope was manually cleaned. The protein loading in the channels was measured prior to and after cleaning. The results clearly show the greater efficacy of the pull-through cleaning brush. The Charlton study of 2007 was conducted to determine the percentage of soil removed by the pull-through cleaning brush compared to single, triple and reusable bristle brushes. The method used weighed a channel pre-loaded with soil, then weighed the channel again after cleaning to determine the amount of soil removed. The channel was weighed after one pass of the pull-through cleaning brush. This was compared to the weight after six passes of the bristle brushes used in the test. The results show that the pull-through cleaning brush removed at least 96% of soil every time, whereas the bristle brushes removed between 29-90% to of soil. In a study in gastrointestinal endoscopy, the authors reprocessed endoscopes each day for five days, storing them wet overnight to facilitate biofilm growth. Two types of detergents and cleaning brushes were used to see which would give the best results in the manual cleaning process. For both detergents used, the pull-through cleaning brush gave better results overall in each category, apart from the mean ATP when used with an enzymatic. The authors note on page 1289, our data also supports the role of friction in the cleaning process because the use of the pull-through channel cleaner left less organic debris than the bristle brush when evaluated by SEM. The flexible discs of the pull-through device would have better surface contact with the inner surface of the PTFE channel compared to the bristles of the traditional bristle brush used for cleaning. 
This may explain why the SEM images showed far less residual debris and bacterial forms when the pull-through device was used, regardless of the detergent. A study in Frontiers in Medicine investigated the sampling of duodenoscope channels. Though not directly related to the cleaning capabilities of the pull-through cleaning brush, the study provided some interesting findings. On page 4 of the study it states, the pull-through channel cleaner was the most effective at removing fixed residuals in the borescope examination. And on page 7, in addition, the boroscope assessment supports the initial data reported by Alpha and Olsen, confirming that the use of friction, i.e. bristle brush or pull-through device, for sample collection of the channel is critical to ensure optimal removal of fixed residuals regardless of what fluid is used or sample extraction. An infection control and hospital epidemiology study exploring sampling techniques on page 4 notes. Based on our findings, it could be argued to replace standard cleaning brushes with pull-through brushes for manual endoscope cleaning. Because current evidence is limited, future research on the efficacies of different brush types for manual cleaning of flexible endoscopes is warranted.